So one of the early stories is our, our first board meetings, people think of board meetings being around big tables and fancy rooms. Uh, our board meetings were held in the front room of a house we were rehabbing and we'd all sit on a paint can. I wanted to find a, a way to give back to the community and kind of just use my vacation time for something good other than sitting on my couch watching Netflix. Uh, so I joined Hype uh, and I kind of just went out on the first day and fell in love with the activities and the people and the, the mission of Habitat and what it meant to everyone. Uh, Habitat fits into Joy Global's corporate vision really uh, because it's uh, based on social responsibility. Most of the things that we're involved in really revolve around basic human services, uh, education, welfare, things like that. And Habitat really rolls all those into one. Someone told us about Habitat and my wife said, oh, it's got to be a ripoff. But we went anyway. We said, well, you know, we've been, we've done some things, so let's just go see. And even after we moved into our home, we still didn't believe it. She didn't believe it for six months. She was still saying, where's the ripoff? Because we never owned a home. So we got into a neighborhood and turns out there were a bunch of Habitat families that eventually moved in there. And we discovered that home ownership changes lives. It makes people achieve things that they didn't even think they could possibly do. And so when I started um, building the home, two days a week I was attending classes to obtain my GED. And I got it before my 40th birthday and I also moved in my home before my 40th birthday. So now it's nonstop. <laughs> the sky's the limit. I'm planning on going back to college this fall. A new Habitat home in a neighborhood can change the face of that community. Uh, it inspires others to spruce up their own homes, businesses, as well as developing the entire uh, the dynamic of the neighborhoods. And that's why at Wells Fargo we're so committed. You know, we're very fortunate and proud to be partnering with Milwaukee Habitat for Humanity. We're passionate about the work that Habitat does because we share a common goal and vital goal which is ensure affordable and sustainable housing in Milwaukee. After they did the home visit and um, checked out my um, paperwork and things and took me to uh, this house um, that was gutted uh, down to the bare walls, uh, bare boards, two by fours, and uh, they said, what do you think of this house? And I said, oh, I like this house. It's really big. And then they said, well, this is your house. Oh my God, <laughs> that was the best day of my life. And then the second best day was when I signed my homeowner's papers um, to become a homeowner. So that's something you'll never forget. And it's uh, that's something that I wanna see a lot of people of low income achieve is to become homeowners and have an investment in their life and in their communities as well. As well. We feel as though the work of Habitat is a great fit for us. Um, we're very committed to keeping faith in the city, and we're very committed to serving the needs of our brothers and sisters wherever they are. And so this is an opportunity for us to actually put that to work. Habitat runs this, uh, their organization is so careful on selecting people that are going to, you know, live in the homes and they've had great success with helping, you know, build these, uh, the lives of people that uh, move into those homes and, and I think their track record is wonderful. So as you're building it and putting it together and, and learning a little bit of construction at the same time, as it starts to develop and you see the, uh, 
the, the style of the home and, and then as it goes to completion, it's a very, very rewarding feeling for everybody. One of the ways that we're measuring the success of NRI is by measuring home ownership rates throughout the neighborhood. Right now, home ownership accounts for about 40% of the properties in Washington Park. Our goal over five years is to grow the home ownership rate to over 50%. When over half the people in a neighborhood own their own home, we believe that's a tipping point for the revitalization of an entire neighborhood. They had put their signatures on a wall at my back door, and I took a picture of that. But when we got ready to paint that wall and put that drywall up, I had to like paint over that. And I mean, the feeling of it, it, it was awesome. It was awesome. And I thank God, I thank God that I'm here and I love my house. And every time I put that key in at night and I close it and I set that alarm and I walk around and I'm like, wow, this is my house. I did it. I did it by the grace of God and I love it. So thank you Habitat, thank you so much. What does home mean to me? Um, that's a, an intense question, I think. For me, home means, um, Four walls and a roof. That that's not home to me. You know that that's not a home to me. Home means to me security. It was a place of safety. It was a place of security. Uh, it was a place a place that you can go and feel safe and comfortable and have dinner with your friends and proud ownership. Well, I like a couple of images. One is the word uh, haven, uh, and another is the word sanctuary. And I choose those words because I think, again, uh, I think it's necessary for those of us, uh, any, any of us, any people, to have a safe place where intimacy can be formed with the other people in your family or people who live you know, with you. And within that context, you, you learn your values. Framing the future. <laughs>